Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are going to solve DSE 2015 that is the entrance examination of MA Economics. So let us begin with our question paper. So we will start with part 1 and question number 1. So in question 1 we have there are two individuals 1 and 2. So here we are talking about two individual persons and they are named as 1 and 2. So suppose they are offered a lottery that gives rupees 160 or rupees 80 each with probability equal to half. So they are given a lottery, they are offered a lottery and the prize money for one is rupees 160 and for the other is rupees 80 and the probability is half. So the alternative to the lottery is a fixed amount of money given to the individual. Okay, so either they can take a lottery or they have another option that is they can take a fixed amount of money. So assume that individuals are expected utility maximizers. So they have been expected to be utility maximizers. Now suppose individual one will prefer to get rupees 110 with certainty over the lottery. So our person one that is individual one has been preferred to take rupees 110 rather than going for a lottery. Now, however, individual 2 is happy receiving a sum, receiving a sure sum of rupees 90 rather than facing the lottery. So, our individual 2 is also doing the same. He is not going for the lottery but is taking rupees 90 as the sure, sure sum as he has says that there has a, there is a fixed amount of money to be given alternative to the lottery. So, both of them chose the fixed amount of money and left the lottery. Now, which of the following statements is correct? So, here we have four options. Both individuals are risk averse, risk averse and risk, risk averse means they are risk haters. So, they try their best not to take any risk even if they need, uh, even if they get a money price less than that of the risk, they will go for the less money but they won't take the risk. Now option 2 is 2 is risk averse but 1 loves risk. 1 loves risk means he will go for risk even if he is getting money a bit less but uh, in a fixed amount but he will say again but he will then also go for the uh, risk. Now in option 3 we have 1 is risk averse and the 2 loves risk. So this is opposite of option number B. In option D we have none of the above. So as you can see in the question both 1 and Two went for uh, the fixed amount they both went for the fixed amount and left the or left the lottery even if they get a lottery of rupees 160 and 180 so the average amount each can be get given by so this will be 2 so here we have 120 so even if they go for the lottery the average amount they can get is rupees 120 but here you can see they both get less than 120 that is rupees 110 and rupees 90 but even though getting a lesser money than the average money they both go for the fixed amount hence they are not risk lovers and they both try to avoid risk as much as possible so option number a as you can see both individuals are risk averse that is both individuals try to avoid risk hence option a is the correct answer to this question so let's move on to our next question that is question number two so question two says so question 2 we have consider an exchange economy with agents 1 and 2 and goods x and y. So here we have an exchange economy and we have two agents that are 1 and 2 and we have two types of goods that are x and y. Now the agents preference preferences over x and y are given. So we have been given the agents preference over x and y products. Now if it rains one's endowment is 10 comma 0 and two's endowment is 0 comma 10. So while raining, these are the endowments of the agents 1 and 2 and if it shines, 1's endowment is 0, 10 and 2's endowment is 10, 0. So we have been given two different weather conditions and we have been given their endowment. So as you know, endowment is generally required to find whether which agent is willing to go towards which goods. Here we have endowment. generally points towards which agent willings to move towards 
विच गुड बट हियर एज यू कैन सी इन ऑप्शन वी नीड टू फाइंड दंडीशन फॉर परिटो एफिशियंट एलोकेशन हियर ऑल्सो वी हैव परिटो एफिशियंट एलोकेशन एंड ऑल दी फोर ऑप्शन so we need to find the condition in which pareto efficient allocations can be found so as you can see endowment only says which agents are willing to move towards which good hence it has nothing to say about the pareto efficient allocations and hence pareto efficient allocation it will not depend upon the weather whether it is raining or shining so we won't check about the weather given whether it is raining or shining hence the pareto efficient allocations are independent of whether it rains or shines so our option number a is the correct answer as in option b you can see it will depend on the weather that is it is shining or uh, it is raining or shining and it may depend it is said and it varies with the weather so option all the three other options that is options b c and d are wrong hence our correct answer to this question is option number a so i will like to end this video here you will find solutions to the further questions in our next video